Hi. I've been doing art and art-adjacent things for a while now, and while I won't denigrate myself too much by saying I'm the worst artist ever, if you've seen some of my previous thumbnails and videos, you'd notice that there's some room for improvement. Which is why I have this. Yes, really, the good old 365 days of drawing prompts. The book that I'm sure was bought by many prospective art students, and like many of those students, I filled out a few pages and promptly forgot about it. But this year is gonna, hopefully, be different, as a part of my Get Better at Drawing journey is going to be filling out this old, discarded, stained book, all 365 pages. Of course, I won't assume it'll turn me into the next Picasso here, but I do hope that there'll be a marked improvement by the end of it all. And this also won't be the only way I try to improve. I'd like to show off other art projects as well. But I'm not quite sure what is or isn't acceptable on YouTube yet, so I can't show everything I've worked on. I guess long story short, this is more of a personal art blog where I rant about art and show what I've drawn. If you want to continue watching after hearing that, well... Well, first I'd ask what was wrong with you, but then I'd say thank you for watching, or I guess listening. So as I opened the book for the first time, I got an idea of just how long it's been, and I haven't exactly been treating it very well given the creaks, folds, and mysterious stains. I also noticed that I already drew the first prompt of a trumpet playing turtle forever ago, and I guess put an X on it as I assumed I wasn't happy with the results, which I guess to be fair I'm never happy with the results. But in cases like this, I'll simply redraw the prompt on a separate piece of paper. As I worked on it, I realized just how little I have drawn animals as of late. As my first reaction to the prompt was to panic and ask myself, Fuck, how do I draw a turtle? I've spent so long trying to create halfway decent looking people that some other aspects of drawing fell to the wayside. Which I suppose is another reason why I decided to use this book, because I figured the prompts would give me... Well prompts outside of my comfort zone. Though I'd never thought I'd say that about drawing a turtle. But once I got started and, you know, looked at an actual picture of a turtle, it wasn't too bad. And here's a quick comparison of the old and new versions. Up next was a witch and her pet newt. I tried to make her more of a punk rock kind of witch and probably got the style wrong. Used some pencils to shade the jacket and hat, which may not look as nice from this picture quality but I think looks a little bit better with the naked eye. And a newt wrapped around her hat breathing fire. I'm like 80% sure newts can breathe fire. Other than that, I, I don't got much to say. Speaking of not having much to say, we have a blind giraffe, where I just drew a giraffe with a blindfold on, so behold the blind giraffe. And we're gonna move on to Alien Invasion. It was odd. I didn't think twice about making the fleshy eyeball full of tentacles destroying the city, but the city skyline made me think a lot about backgrounds. How they can be the most important part of a piece, giving a sense of wonder and scale, establishing a fantastical setting as a living, breathing world that your characters inhabit. There are also times when a background means absolutely nothing because the characters speaking or an action scene is far more important. But even if the background's not important, the audience will still notice when it's gone. Part of what made me think of all that is a recent video I did where, in addition to other issues it has, I kinda rushed a lot of the background drawings I did for it, as the project was taking much longer than I expected and I just wanted it done. Now in retrospect, I really kind of regret it, as the city didn't look like a city. It looked like a bunch of squares desperately trying to pretend it's a city. But hey, if you're curious, I'll be a bit shameless and leave a link to the video in the corner and at the end of this video, and you can see for yourself and judge me there in the comments of that video. After that was pigs playing poker. Other than my usual panicky feeling of how do I draw that whenever I have to draw an animal, I don't have much else to say. We've got one pig who's tired and doesn't want to be there, and an angry pig accusing the third of cheating who's sitting there being a smug little shit. Then we got Fortune Teller, which I decided to have a wizard peering into the orb. This wizard being an OC Do Not Steal character I like to draw from time to time. Even had a comic about him that lasted for about a hundred pages. He was a surly, lazy master of the mystical arts who kept getting dragged into problems he wanted nothing to do with. Never really released that comic anywhere, though. 
Despite the time and effort I put into it, I just didn't feel like it was good enough in terms of writing or art. But I still like to come back and draw those characters from time to time. And finally, we have a treasure map. I honestly can't remember if I've ever drawn a map before. And I was unfortunately in a rush that day, but I gave it my best shot. Drew some islands surrounded by water. One of them being Bill's Island, represented accurately by this angry stick figure with a pitchfork. We got Gary the Unfathomable over there in the right corner. A pair of dark glowing orbs staring at you through the screen. Steve the Sea Serpent, the hand grasping the island that we're not supposed to talk about. And a long winding dotted line leading to the X. Why do you need to follow a long winding path to reach what's clearly at the edge of the island? Shut up. Stop asking questions. But yeah, that nonsense aside, this is what I done did draw this week. I'd like to make this a weekly thing, but I can't guarantee that. But I'll try to make it happen. And since this is YouTube, I guess I might as well ask that you give a thumbs up if you liked the video, or a thumbs down if you didn't. But if you did like it, maybe subscribe. We, we do a lot of different stuff on this channel. Maybe something will strike your fancy. But I'd also like to hear about your own personal opinions on art and drawing and what drawing practices that you like to do to try to improve. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video.